हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ लर्न टू ड्रॉ विद ब्लू पैलेट इन टू गेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ कोरल्स एज इन कोरल रीफ लाइक वी नो देर आर लॉट ऑफ कोरल्स इफ वी इफ यू गो टू द सी बैग वी विल सी द सी बैग फुल ऑफ नॉट ओनली फिशेज बट ब्यूटिफुल लुकिंग कोरल्स लाइक some of us who has done uh, scuba diving of course knows about it right scuba diving diving in the water and looking at the at the world below below the sea now that is a very very interesting world with a lot of colors we will see a lot of colors over there if we ever take a dive so in today's video i'm trying to show you to make different types and colors of corals or reefs so let us see how to do them now these are some funnel shaped ones there is this this is the sea pig where we have done drawn few rocks small and big and around the rocks the corals grow with grace see this is a sea bag and here different types of corals are growing so some of them and we will see the different colors of the corals so some of you who have already seen corals you can tell us ki what different color of corals you have seen And see, these are the different forms as well. Because of the color, we can often think that these are nothing but seaweeds. But no, these are the these are the beautiful looking very rich reefs and here we can yet another type of coral we are making see it will look like the branches of a tree now we can make a few fishes who love to play around the corals they play around the corals maybe a few bubbles to give it the look of the of water you see this is how it will the drawing will look now you can quickly outline it with a black pen and then we can start the coloring process okay so now we are done with the outlining and i have erased the pencil marks the extra pencil marks so let us start coloring now most of the corals are colorful and you can use the color you wish to do for the rocks i will be using gray because uh, there will be so much colors around let us 
make the rock gray colored so that it does not um, you know it, it, the rock will not mix up with the corals We will carefully avoid the corals and try to color in a single direction as much as possible because of the corals our direction may change occasionally. See now I have done most of the rock parts but uh, we will have to be very careful like you know the parts in between the corals have to be nicely colored otherwise the shape of the coral will not look proper though the shapes are not so uh, you know solid shapes but still the beautiful uh, inorganic shape of the coral will also not be properly visible if we do not color them properly now i will use some yellow ochre to differentiate between two rocks so over here just behind one rock I am making a little bit of yellow ochre. Now the yellow ochre will not look very bright. Why? Because there is grey behind it. Just to differentiate two rocks I am making one rock a little darker. You can use a grey green or uh, maybe a grey rose as well. Here I am using yellow ochre. So any color we will be used with gray will be mellowed down. A little bit over here as well. Now is the time for doing the corals. And like I said, it is your imagination. Whichever color you wish you can use. So I'll start with some pink corals. Now, already we know that whenever we use two colors to define uh, any particular object, it becomes, it looks like a 3D object. So always it is advisable to use two colors. We can use different colors as well, like I said. We may also use green, but just see that the green should not be a regular green. I am using a, a sky, uh, sorry, a gray green. So, which is very different from a regular green. Now, if you use this gray green in the rocks, definitely you will not be using. So, that we have to see okay, what are the colors around, and depending on that, we will choose our colors. But okay, it is very important to choose the right colors. Okay, the olive, I will add some dark values. Now if we really need to add more dark and see that the darkness is not coming with our regular colors that is one of the cases where we can use a little bit of black but very very carefully use the black. Immediately after using the black we have to use the color below to mix the black so that when if it is uh, when we are done with the coloring it will not mix up with the with the rest of my drawing so wherever we are using black we need to be very careful and 
then moving on we'll be using some yellows over here yellows or maybe light orange again see what are the colors behind and depending on that we will choose our colors in front So in this I have used some orange and some scarlet to add the darker values. And maybe finally this one I will use some blue. Again because we are not coloring the uh, water behind I can add blue. I can add any blue but if we are planning to color the water behind we have to be sure that it does not match with the color coral over here making some yellow ochre colored sea bag so that our entire rock and the coral does not look like it is floating on the air and we may add a little bit of brown over here below the rocks mostly to create the shadow see wherever there is something below it there will be a shadow it may be a shackle one but it will be there we cannot avoid and finally we are left with the fishes and the bubbles definitely the bubbles will take the color of blue we can make them like this half color so as to give it the the look see when the bubbles are half colored they look more like the bubble because of the light reflection we see that one side of the bubbles are light one side is dark and that is the look we are trying to create over here and finally the fishes I am making symbolic fishes again it is up to you which color fish you want to make around your coral leaf 